Hello my peeps, it's Antoinette here. It is day 29 of the 90 day challenge, week four. And uh, I weighed in this morning and uh, show you that number pretty quickly here. But today I took to work these Parmesan folios from Costco. The pictures look great. You could supposedly, you know, make a wrap with your sandwich, make the pinwheels, form it uh, over a bowl, and melt that for a, a cheese bowl. I haven't tried that yet. But, uh, okay, Parmesan folios made from all natural cheese. It's supposed to be all Parmesan. It's one carb. Uh, Per wrap. Uh, so today I did what they said. They said to put it in the microwave for a minute and a half on the parchment paper. Parchment paper comes attached. And uh, I rolled it up <laughs> and uh, it cools off so quickly that it becomes a crunch factory. I mean I could hardly bite into the thing uh, after I got halfway through the wrap, so I wouldn't recommend heating it up for that. And I thought, oh, maybe you could do it for like a little uh, personal pizza, but this thing gets really super hard. So uh, I'm trying the pinwheel tonight. The pinwheel uh, doesn't exactly hold together very well. It's really rubbery. Um, it uh, has a funky flavor. It's obviously very low-grade cheese. Um, I'm not a fan of this at all. I will not buy this again, that's for sure. But I'm gonna go ahead, I thought, well, let's see. You know, I'm always making my, uh, my cheese chips with my Parmesan Reggiano from Costco which those are fabulous. So I cut these into little triangles to see how this goes. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Okay, it's out of the microwave. It looks like this. There's the chip. Now this is good for like a hot second. So if you eat it really fast, it's okay. But it really doesn't have any flavor because it's not seasoned with anything. Um, it's very greasy. And, uh, but it's better this way than plain in this so-called wrap. This is terrible. I'm going to be throwing it away. So, yeah, this was just under $10, nine something. I think there's 12 of them in there. So, just like everything else, you're just better off making your own. All right, on to the way in. Here we are, week four weigh-in. Day 29 of the 90 day challenge. Oh, 168.2. Woohoo! I have my journal. And so this week I'm down 2.4 pounds, but this month I'm down exactly seven pounds. Now that's from journaling. Uh, I can't tell you how much writing it down has helped me because it's been a long time since I lost seven pounds in one month. 
<laughs> well, besides staying accountable to you. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna measure next week. I'm very pleased with my results. How did you do? Share it, comment below. You don't seem to wanna do that. I haven't had too many of you sign up for the journal or my shirts. What, you don't wanna walk around with this cutesy patootsy little shirt? <laughs> For the ones of you that have signed up, your odds are really good of winning the drawing to be held on February 15th. So, all right, I have to throw this all out in the trash it goes. And uh, I still have to clean up my kitchen. Because tomorrow night, I have to start making the chili for the uh, chili cook-off that we're having on, at work on Friday. And they decided, you know, since it's uh, for the Super Bowl, that's really what we're celebrating, even though my beloved Packers aren't in it after that embarrassing <laughs> playoff game that they lost. Um, but so they, the theme is to name our chili. So uh, based on, you know, Super Bowl. So I called my chili, it's called, Kicking it in ketosis. <laughs> I love it. And my chili is going to be fabulous. And I will bring you along to make it with me. So we will see you in just a few days. And uh, <laughs> stay tuned for that chili cook-off. That will be fun and interesting. There's six of us making chili. There were more, but we've had dropouts. So... We will see you next time, peeps. Stay tuned for that.